How do y'all freeze cracked here? I'm definitely out of practice both in um, videoing and in napping. So bear with me. I'm going to try. Somebody called me the other day and said, hey, it's been a while. And I said, yeah. y'all out there are doing okay. This is looking crummy so far. But I will improve. There we go. I looked a little bit like the old me. Been doing more or less all right. Hope y'all had. I'm not in the optimal location from a standpoint of health right now. Great, looks like somebody's pulling up to do some yard work across the street. This particular rock has some issues with crystals forming in it. And that's not uh, <clears throat> not good because since they can be anywhere, odds are they're gonna be a bad location on your last hit when you're almost finished, right? That's freeze cracks corollary to Murphy's Law. I guess I'm going to have to stop. I, I hate to do that. I was going to make a video here. I guess I can pick up a different rock and mess with it while the yard is getting done and then come back. I see I just barely caught that, but I support it. Kind of careful to make it do like I wanted. Of course, I got this big old knob here on the end. I don't know what I'm gonna do that. So now he's pulling on off. I wonder if he doesn't know where he is. I think he must have been looking, must be looking for the yard he's gonna do. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, yeah, this big old knob, what do y'all recommend me do with that? door stop. I just make this thin and poom, stick it under a door and there you go. All right. Yeah. I'm going to try and um, start coming around here and, and work my way around to that and see what I can do. And that was a fairly aggressive bevel that I put on that, but you know, I need to come back and and be doing some some serious thinning. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one in here though. See if that hole ends. The hole ends and swapped itself for concrete. So yeah. 
This is Texas. This is Paternalis, kind of a lightish, the lightish version of the Paternalis amoeba flint. One of the places people had been getting that recently went away. From what I understand, I haven't been out that way since last year and probably, I don't know if I'll go out that way or not. That's how I got a, I got a communication the other day about a nap in that's supposed to happen. And Brady, if it happens in October, I don't know what I'll do. And as usual, you know, I'm doing a whole lot of my, what I do, I do with redirection. I'm just hitting downward and then letting my my hand make the flake run where I want it. Concrete's getting concretey. See how thin and straight that thin and flat that flake is though, and I head straight downward. But uh, <clears throat> once you get them, what is it, cyborg hands or or whatever, where your hands just kind of know. You got your little lightweight, tight Linux code app running in your hands and they just do their thing. The hinge is more or less on purpose. I mean, I just don't, don't really care or worry about that because I'm needing some flatness. I'm being rambly too. Okay, tried to hit aggressively, but didn't climb the hill too well. One of the things about getting older is just, you know, trying to maintain your strength, which I haven't done very well. So you gotta be wily. If you don't have the muscle, then you gotta be tricky. Have the adaptation. I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting this <coughs> dull enough. But see, it's just running into there and stopping. But I'm trying to make sure I get it dull enough and get down to that flint a little bit, that cortex. I think I'm going to step down and try and swing a little bit faster and force that to go. And see, that broke in the middle. And as I've said before, you know, that would have been a completely failed flake into a hinge. But if you don't let it do that, then it's like, well, what is plan B? What is his only choice? His only choice is to run until it runs out. <clears throat> now, there is a level of force that's just going to If you get the concept right and you get your, your meter dialed in for the proper amount of force that, that won't blow it up, but won't let it do what it wants to do and it'll force the issue. I mean, that's a big old humpy hump, but it sunk lower and ran under that because of the way that the pressure was on the surface. And it kept running instead of dying and stalling because there was just too much, too much force in it for that not to happen. This is not a good situation particularly, but look, 
you can see how fat that end is. Big old hump here. This is close to the center line. So normally you couldn't do anything good with that. You would have to hit it straight down and you're gonna get a very short leg that would end right about there. So let's see what occurs. And I did hit more or less straight down, but I put fairly good pressure on here. Where are you? Right this way. I put fairly good pressure on here and made it. See how much lower this is? It sunk quite a bit lower flatter than it was and it just went out the other side. I cannot hit this. This has got this concavity here. It would have been nice if that had been left better to where I could take a great shot across here on this this ridge which would have worked really well and it may be that I can come in maybe that I can come in and do that in a minute. But, you know, I've got a hit here that'll work, probably. Although the contours aren't optimal, you got a low spot there and a higher spot there. But I probably can do it. But I'm trying to get weight off the ends first, as I always kind of preach. Okay, so again, same situation. Bad, it's not even a platform, it's kind of square edged. Bad square edge with a sharp edge on top of it. Uh, at the center line but you know I'm not having to do too much here so really I'm gonna I'm gonna hit kind of obliquely and bevel it and try and and do this number to where cut this off but go in deeper at this top end to make it higher to where I can maybe shoot back that way so let's try it dang nothing happened there it goes okay I, I did what I said you see how it, it came up more here? And it cut off part of that area that I was saying I wanted to get, but it's opened up another crystal pocket. Just the way some of the flint is. So now I'm gonna do that even more. Take some more of it. And actually, I think I'll do it again. And coming on up, although I did make a bulb there, um, or it made a bulb, I don't know. I didn't, I don't think I prepared the platform in a manner that would cause the bulbing, but it actually looks like there might be a little softer flint right through that whitish area. Okay, so <clears throat> instead of doing this number, I've now kind of set up a deal where I probably can do this number. Although, I certainly don't like the fact that the cortex is there, but I also don't like the fact, see I've got it, I've got a knife edge on this side and I got a big old thick edge on this side. That tends to make it want to come off on this side first and twist and fail. And this isn't, this isn't great contour anyway. It's kind of dished almost a little bit concave. So. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get rid of a little bit of this end, but in doing so, I'm, I'm shaping it a certain way. And so I kind of created a ridge there too that isn't, isn't a bad idea if I come back that way, although climbing that ridge now would be kind of crazy. All right, so I don't have a really great ridge here, but I do have a fair amount of convexity, and I think I may have it where I can bop the crap out of it, and the question becomes one of which bopper to try. I guess I'll go with the heavy one. I am not squeezing in here. You wanna reverse hinge this thing? It'll come in, come up, and it'll cut it right in half right there. So I'm holding it down a little bit. I need a little bit of back end support. Let me do that a little better. A little bit of back end support. It hit hard, but, hey, I fluted it. Uh, hit hard, but did not squeeze. 
and there's a fine art to it, but I had my finger back there to keep it from going back. And I just had my hand kind of under it with a light touch to keep it from being able to, to, to blow up and come out, but opened up. That's got, that almost looks like a little bit of a crinoid thing, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a crystal pocket that had the crystals growing into the center. But anyway, all right. I don't know if I've said it before, but I know I ramble a lot and talk around in circles and all this kind of stuff on the napping and I don't, I haven't had a, an outline from day one and tried to, people will say, well, you know, cover a specific topic and I'm like, well, you know, it's in there somewhere. You'll get it through osmosis if you watch this stuff long enough. That's a theory. Figured if I try to do all this stuff correctly, as far as the videoing and everything, it would be so tedious that I probably wouldn't do it. So this is the compromise. I'm just trimming that and coming up with that edge a little bit. I'm at 16 minutes. See, I'm, this is my issue right here. I'm at the center line kind of, I got huge humpy hump there. And I've got more thickness down here, and I've got that crystal pocket that I could try and undercut. So I really sort of want to favor this bottom side, call it the bottom for the moment. If I can take a couple more hits through there and raise this up a tiny bit, then my odds of dealing with a humpy hump are better. Well, I see the fracture, but it didn't go. It looks like the edge kind of failed right in there. So I'm coming over here. I'm not gonna hit that same thing again. Blew through some of that crystal, but that's nasty stuff. I can't hit this. This, this is no good to hit. I don't know if you can tell, but it, it's damaged from the strike and I, you can see the little incipient fracture right there. So there's no point in hitting that again because it's already internally damaged and nothing good would come out of hitting that again. So I'm gonna hope that I can step over a tiny bit. I still see the fracture over there and just do a little bit here and undercut some more of that crystal pocket. Got most of it out now and raise that edge a little bit more. And I've got a little ridge that I just made here trimming but you know blasting it in at very thin flake but coming in and bringing that contour on up so I got a little ridge here the problem with this one is this is at an angle so if I strike over here I'll get that but I can't strike the whole thing and I'm just gonna strike over here it's hit hard because I want it to I'm trying to do as much good from the ends as possible on this particular rock. You're like, well, you want to save all the length, don't you? Not always, it just depends on what the rock wants to be. And whether you can force it to be what other than it wants to be. All right, well, I'm gonna hit this humpy hump and then I'm gonna, you know, stop the, the video and start it again. So this is terrible, as usual. D don't do as I do, just, you know, learn from my mistakes. That's what these videos are good for. Okay, so we're at the center line. Wrong move. I got a big humpy hump, which isn't good. You know, you should never let it get that way in the first place if you can avoid it. And, uh, no isolations and not a good platform or anything like that. I'm gonna push hard. How am I gonna do this? I'm squeezing. 
I'm squeezing hard right here. Okay, so the squeezing hard on the humpy hum worked. Now it's gone. But if I had been a true professional, before I did that, I would have said, hold my bear and watch this, which I didn't do, so shame on me. There's a, a secondary ridge on the humpy hump that now that's very usable and very useful. But again, put my finger along it, kind of hold it straight down and just blast along that. And now we've got that kind of okay. Kinda. So, hmm, 20 minutes. This looks almost like, you know, a preform, not a preform, but a biface. It's, it's something. I don't know what. I don't need to hit it a lot more right now for the purpose of showing y'all. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and maybe pull another Pull another rabbit out of a hat or two here before I turn this off. Okay, this is all issues. Thickness, uh, weirdness. And this is just cortex, not gonna work. Uh, so I'm gonna try and hit this with pressure on that and undercut, but this is terrible. But it worked pretty well. But that was at least, that was as good as I expected to get off that. And then this is still a little diamond square edge thing that I created. Um, but I'm gonna hit this first and then if that's still there. So that, nah, now I made, I undercut that too much. Oh well. So it's smoother, it's cleaner. It's not uh, not a great contour, but it's cleaner. Like, what are you making? I'm making a biface. I'm gonna trade this to somebody better than me for a point. to there. Okay, so I'm gonna give up a little bit of width, straight down, no support underneath because I want a bevel. Kind of bring this edge up to where I can cheat less and achieve more. Got a ridge there, sort of. Right there, kind of. All right, here we go. That's flatter. Came to here, fanned out because it wasn't really a ridge. It was more of a convexity. I'm not abrading everything here. Okay, that is a ridge though. Let's abrade it. We'll do dorsal ridge abrasion. I like dorsal ridge abrasion. Okay, so you ready? Eh, ran, hit it thin, caught it thin, and it just couldn't hang. That one caught pretty thin and didn't hang that great. But that one I, you know, needed to catch thin. Whoa! A braider leaped at me. You say that? You're my y'all are my witnesses on that thing. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this again, and you're like, "Well, that's a knife edge right there." I'm like, "Well, yeah, but I like to experiment. I call it experimenting." See, I figured out from watching TV you can call something whatever you want it to be and people kind of act like it is even if it ain't hmm. 
that kind of failed and blew up. Went, did a boo-boo. Might be, I need to hammer the end of my, my bopper. And this isn't optimal, but we're hitting it anyway. And that one ran pretty darn good, even though it broke. So we've got this side pretty flat now. That side's pretty flat. There's, there's plenty of thickness left to work with, and there's no contours that are too bad to confound being able to use, you know, most of the length of this preform. So even though this isn't pretty, it's kind of okay. Depending upon your skill level and what you can do with it. It's always the case, I mean, you know. <coughs> I'm just letting this thing run, but it's kind of a ridge along here. So I think I'm gonna try and actually step up, which makes no sense. And hit it hard into there and hinge the crap out of it at that crystal pocket. And I got a little bit left on my, my pseudo platform and pinch it in further there. But it's flat, I'm not climbing a hill. So now, and I'm close to this side with those hinges, if I cut those hinges off, which obviously can be done. I mean, obviously, there's no way, if, if you had your eyes closed, you can't fail to get them hinges off. It didn't spread that wide, I was taking this part over here first. Well, caught it then, but. There it is, it's gone. Um, hit that one hard, kind of sunk it a little bit. Trying to do some good here. Raise this a little bit up, my contour is a little, well, I got a little ridge. Okay. So that was a good hit and did some good coming in there. And I mean, it's almost looking it's almost looking like it could be semi-easy to do something worth now with. Although that's still potentially an issue, but I don't know how deep it goes. It's not my fault. Now we got a mower. I think my timing was good on this. Cutting some more. I'm gonna hit one more time. On this issue. That's kind of failing because it's that whitey stuff. It's almost like concrete itself. Right here on the edge. Well that 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 worked. That undercut some of it and put the hinge back the other direction. So yeah, there we go. I mean, you know, I still think I can, I, I still think that looks like it's getting thin enough that I think I might be getting under it. You know, hit quick sometimes. You gotta hit, you gotta hit pretty quick sometimes to get what you want to accomplish. But then the, the redirection with your hand is important. Okay, so I've taken up half an hour of your time. Thank you for watching. Freeze Cracked.